Hello everyone and welcome back. I just wanted to film a quick grocery haul for all of you. So I went to three different stores. I went to Walmart, Sam's Club, and Aldi, and I thought I would just show you what I got. So I'll start with Sam's Club. So first I got these two whole chickens from Sam's Club. They're just whole chickens, they're non-GMO, and a lot of times what I'll do with these is I will just roast them whole. I'll stuff the inside with some lemon, onion, and garlic, um, sometimes some herbs, and then I'll brush the outside with a garlic butter and then uh, just roast it at like 425 until it's done. Um, sometimes I'll break them down and use them for a bone in curry, but I just, I got two of those. This came out to 159 a pound. It was 9.88 pounds, so the total was 1571 for that. Next, I got this ground beef. So this is organic grass-fed ground beef. It's $4.88 a pound, which is a really good price for this. Um, it's three pounds total coming out to $14.64. And I did look it up. It is 100% grass-fed. So I got three pounds of that. Next up, I have this restaurant style bacon. So basically this is just 10 pounds of raw bacon. Now this used to cost about $29.99. So it came out to $3 a pound but it recently went up to $41. So still not bad, it's about $4 a pound, which is still a little bit cheaper than how you would find it in your normal grocery stores. So I still picked that up. Um, between my husband and I and my kids, we do go through a lot of bacon, so a, uh, it is worth it for us to buy it in bulk. All right, next up I have these low carb tortillas. Now this is something I wouldn't buy on a normal basis. This is for those times when you really just want something on a tortilla or a bread-like wrap. And, um, you know, I think it beats eating regular bread and then binging the rest of the day, which is probably what I would do. So, um, so the, what I like about these is that they, a lot of tortillas usually are made with, um, vegetable shortening or some sort of vegetable oil but this one is made with extra virgin olive oil which was kind of cool um it doesn't have any sugar added it's the ingredients are not terrible considering what it is now it does have the modified wheat starch and wheat protein these do contain wheat they're not gluten free so if you don't tolerate wheat you wouldn't want to get them but they also have the cellulose whole wheat um, it has extra virgin olive oil salt xanthan gum ground flax seed baking soda, um, and looks like some preservatives. So again, not the best ingredients, but not the worst considering what it is. And honestly, sometimes you just need something. So don't recommend having this every day or buying it weekly or anything like that. But every once in a while, it is just a nice substitution to have for bread. For 16 tortillas, this came out to 4.98. So the next thing is this uh, Boyer's Mash Up Coffee. You can see that it's been opened. We had some this morning. My friend Joanna actually got this for me. We really like it. We like the taste of it. Um, it's an organic coffee. I think coffee is one of those things that tends to be heavily sprayed. So um, things like that. I do like to get organic when I can. We like to get whole bean coffee because we just prefer the taste when it's freshly ground. So we got that. And for this 30 ounce bag, it was $12.98, so really not a bad price. Okay, so the next and last thing I got from Sam's Club are these broccoli florets. It's just a two pound bag of cut broccoli florets. It came out to $3.98 for two pounds, which is not bad. Um, I like to either throw these in a stir fry or what I'll probably do this week is I'll take them, I'll probably cut them up into bite-sized pieces and I like to drizzle them with extra virgin olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and then lots of grated Parmesan. And I'll either throw them in a 425 degree oven until they're tender or I will put them in the air fryer. All right, so next I'll move on to what I got from Walmart. Uh, first off, I got these three packs of garlic. These were $1.17 per package and we go through a lot of garlic, so I got two of those. Next up, I got this Primal Kitchen Organic Unsweetened Ketchup. So I was really excited to see that my local Walmart was carrying this now. It doesn't have any added sugars. Um, it has one gram of total sugars from the tomatoes and the balsamic vinegar, but uh, the ingredients are just organic tomato concentrate, which is basically tomato paste, organic balsamic vinegar, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and spices. And it has 
two grams of carbs, which is not bad, and it actually tastes really good. So I got some of that. I also got this bag of avocados. Uh, you can see the bag's open, but there's five avocados in there. They're the small ones. I prefer the smaller ones because I don't use a whole lot of avocado in one sitting, and the bag of five was $3.28. Next up, I got this bag of onions. Um, I think it's a three pound bag. Yeah, three pounds. And um, I know they're higher in carbs, but we like the flavor that they give to dishes and we don't use enough to really affect the carb count all that much, so. I also got this two pound bag of lemons. I really like to use lemons in dressings. I will be using some of them to stuff the inside of one of those chickens. Sometimes I'll mix lemon juice in with some smashed avocado with salt and pepper and I'll put that on a burger or on chicken or something like that. And it was $4.28 for that two pound bag. The last thing I got from Walmart is this Chosen Foods avocado oil. If you saw my salad dressing video, you'll know that I like this brand because it's 100% pure and unoxidized. Go ahead and watch that video if you'd like to know more about the avocado oil scandal that had went on. So um, anyway, so I like this brand for that reason. And I like to get it at Walmart because it's under $10. It comes out to $9.44. I like to use this for mayo, for dressings for cooking, um, things like that. And again, that was $9.44. So the last store I went to was Aldi and I got a couple things from there. So I got this organic Greek plain whole milk yogurt. And I like to use this, um, if I'm making a curry, I'll marinate some chicken in the Greek yogurt, some ginger and garlic and some spices and make a curry with that. Um, also, my daughter really likes to eat Greek yogurt with some honey and cinnamon. I got this mild Irish cheddar cheese as well. Whenever I'm in Aldi, I always like to pick out one of their cheeses. They have a great selection, and lately they've had these um, cheddar cheeses made with grass-fed milk. Uh, last week I got the aged one, this week I got the mild one, so um, I like to shred that into scrambled eggs, or a lot of the time I'll just slice it up and eat it as is. And this was $3.59. I also like to get their pure Irish butter. Um, if it's on sale, I'll get Kerrygold, but most of the time I get this one because Kerrygold is around $4 a stick where I get it, and this is $2.99, so, and it's basically the same thing. It's made with milk from grass-fed cows, imported from Ireland, and it basically tastes the same, so um, most of the time I'll end up getting this. Uh, next, I have these riced cauliflower. You've seen this on my last grocery haul, but this is something I get every time I go to Aldi. Um, it's $1.89. They have great ingredients. This one is garlic and herb, so it's just pre-cooked cauliflower, garlic, and parsley, nothing else. This one's the original one. It's just riced cauliflower, and the only ingredients are cauliflower and salt. So. Um, I'll use those if I'm making a keto fried rice or if I'm making a curry, we'll usually serve it over that. Another thing I get every time I go to Aldi is their skipjack tuna. It's 95 cents a can and I really like to get skipjack because it is a smaller fish than like your albacore tuna, which means that it usually contains less mercury. These are pole and line caught and they are certified sustainable. And yeah, we usually just have that with some homemade mayo and we'll have that on cucumber or celery or just by itself in a salad, anything like that. So I usually pick up a few cans of that. And last but not least, I really enjoy getting the Moser Roth. I hope I'm Moser Roth. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I usually get this 85% cocoa dark chocolate from Aldi. It has a really nice flavor and it is about six net carbs per bar, and I'll show you the size of each bar. So this is how big a bar is, and it's got six net carbs. I never usually eat a whole bar at one time, but it is nice to have as a little treat at the end of the day. So that is it, that is all that we got. Not a huge groceries haul, but does have some of the essentials that I get every week, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.